you want to learn how to add lower third text like this using CapCut, like the kind in iMovie without using captions that stays in the same position in every video clip. Keep watching this video to learn how. Hello everyone, my name is Maria. So far I've been using iMovie to edit my videos and I'm new to learning how to use CapCut. It's a free video editing software. They don't have the same features. For example, I've been trying to figure out how to use lower third text, and in CapCut so far you can add your text and you can set it to any position, but it won't be in the same position in every text unless you're using captions. So without using captions, I'm going to show you this trick. I figured out how to get the lower third text to stay in the same position in every video clip which I'm going to take you through the steps right now. The version of CapCut, I'm using version 2.20 beta 4. I have my video here. It's just a nice little video of Niagara Falls from like years ago. We have the text here. I'm going to use default text. So let's add default text. Next, we're going to change it. So let's say it's going to say we're in Ipsum. So here we have Lorem Ipsum. Next I'm going to change the font size, which you can do right here. So the lowest font size that you can do in CapCut is font size 5. So I want to make it a little bit bigger, so we're going to use 6. And then here you can change the font. They have a pretty good selection, which I think you have to download and have an online connection to do so, but you can see there's a lot of fun and interesting fonts you can use. I'm going to use Futura, which is kind of like a classic uh, lower third type of text. And what lower third is, is just the text that shows up in the bottom. It's kind of like a silent text. So here you can change the color. I want it a little bit more punchy. You want to use a font that stands in contrast to what's in the background. So I'm going to use green. Then I just want to show you first, if you want to align your text to any part, to the top or bottom, you can do so. But I will show you the problem with this. When you add text to the alignment bottom, you can see here, there's very little room to have a gap in between, right? What you can do is you can physically take your text, sorry, I'm just rotating it. You can physically take your text and move it into position, right? But then in every frame, you would have to manually move the text and you want it to be in the same position every time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this back to center. And if you scroll down under text basic, here you will see position and size, right where this alignment little tabs are. So you hear, so you see here there is X and Y. Zero and zero means that it's centered. So Y is, I think it's vertical. So the vertical is centered to zero, which is a center, and the same with the X, it's centered to zero, which is also the center. So X is horizontal and Y is vertical. We want to keep this centered at zero for horizontal, and then for Y, we want to move it vertically down. You can manually use the arrows, right? Negative 800. Now it's at negative 800. You can make it a little bit lower, you can make it a little bit higher, but generally lower third caption should be like in the bottom area. So let's say it's negative 850y, and if we want it um, 850 going to the top, we just set it back to zero, so it starts from the middle. You just write 850, hit enter here, and then it goes 850 to the top. Let's move it back down. So let's say you want to change one of the words to be in a different color. So you just pick color, you highlight the text, 
you just pick a color, you highlight the text, and then you change it. So now it's in purple. But I want it back to green. So let's put it back to green. I just wanted to show you that quickly, how to do that. Now the next part we want to do is, let's say I have the video here, right? And then I'm gonna split the clip. So I have multiple clips, right? You have different video clips and scenes you uploaded to your video editor. And I want to have text, but I want it to say something different, right? So what I do is I right click and press copy, or you can do command C and then you can use edit paste or you can use command V and then you can just keep pressing command V and all your text will show up so you just have like a standard text and it's gonna copy everything from the original one so that you don't have to change the color and font size and all this stuff for every single text box you just have to copy and paste it and it's gonna go to the same position here every time you can see here it stays in the same spot what you want to make sure is see if you have an invisible space a line underneath it's gonna offset it so you can see here if you notice that it's not perfectly centering that's because you might have a space bar. So just make sure you hit backspace. There's no empty gaps in between. When it centers, the line of the text box, it's centered to the middle of the font. So if you start to add fonts that have like cursive or funny shapes or interesting things like that, it's not going to center it based on where the middle line based on where the bottom of the letter is it's going to center it to where the middle part is here align and do all this right it's gonna it might do funny things to your text just know that it's reading it from the middle and not from the bottom of the letters if you want to have the same lower third text that you just made and use it in your next video so not just your video clip but your next five ten videos that you're going to make two to three weeks from now you just have to take a screenshot of all the features that you just changed to the x and the y and the font and the size and all these things or you just take a piece of paper and write the font the size the x and y axis the editor you're using the dates and any other notes that you want to take for yourself so that you have the same features you can set the text the default text you just change it to what you had in your last video thank you for watching this video let me know in the comments if you found this helpful in any way and please hit like and subscribe and share this video to anybody you think might find this CapCut tutorial useful thank you